It's the Bob Mark Show. What, what do you guys want to talk about? You want to talk about, uh, hey, Frank Bailey. What a mess that Man, is. Yeah, huh? be careful. I don't care how much you feed your dog. He might turn around and bite you one day. They eat their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a, he's got a new book, and now he's all pissed off because somehow the manuscript got released. And I, somehow. I, I just, you know, I, I'm scratching my head on this one because the guy that's got the manuscript, this guy Joe McGinnis, and we all know who Joe McGinnis is, right? Douchebag. He's the douchebag that, that rented the house right next to the Palins and spied on them. And then got pissed off when they built a fence. Yeah. So he couldn't spy on them anymore. Uh, he got the manuscript and has been now releasing it. And so they're all pissed off. Of course. Because they're he like, is. well, why is anyone going to buy our book now if they got the manuscript? I said, it's doing exactly what he wanted it to do. All right? Become it's, it's, unmarketable. Well, but people are going to want to read it now, I would think. I would think now more than. Who, they, Bailey's? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me? It's anti Palin. They will. They'll. They'll eat anything. They'll eat anything. They're, they're, they're like sharks. They'll eat each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the guy that that uh, was a confidant, was the inner circle, and now he's got a book out. And, and uh, the people that he employed to help write this book, really? All right. Yeah. It's just <laughs> okay. Well, you know the thing about Frank Bailey is Frank Bailey makes Jimmy Carter's brother Billy look like Einstein. <laughs> Okay. He's one of those guys. Yeah. You know, a derf. You know, who just happened to get lucky to be a friend of the family. Sure. And then he, you know. Well, you know, every time we had on him, him on the show here, yeah. I mean, he uh, of course. he had Sarah's back. Of course he You know, did. and everything that was said about her was untrue. It was all a lie. And I wish to God somewhere in the system we could, we could play for you some of these old interviews. But I'm telling you, yeah. it was all... They just don't get her. They don't understand yeah. her. It's not true. None of this happened the way that they're saying it happened. Yeah. It's all BS, blah, 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 blah. They're throwing Sarah Palin under the bus. And then, lo and behold, wait a second, uh, I'm going to write a book and say exactly the opposite of everything that I've said before. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's one thing I cannot abide by. Oh, yeah. A rat. Yeah, I, I don't... I. It's one of my things. I, John Ziegler said on this program, and, and one of the most profound things that he has said, is he has put his life's work and a lot of his money into being a pro Palin person. If he wanted to make money, it had been very easy for him to write a book of bashing her. Of course. You know, he, of he, course. And, and, and that's that's the fact. I was in the inner circle. Right. We probably, probably could do better. I mean, we do great in the ratings. Don't get me wrong. We're still kicking everyone's ass. And that's fine. Sure. But we could probably do better if we wanted to rip on Sarah Palin. You know? If we wanted to join in that little feeding frenzy. I could never. I mean, here we are in the state of Alaska where her approval ratings are at, what, 30 something percent, which means that 70 some odd percent of you don't like her. Right. So it bothers you immensely when we say things that are positive. I I mean, good Lord, remember uh, uh, last year when we had uh, Bristol on the show? The emails of hate. Just hate. Uh, towards us and, and and people that have known us for a long time just yeah. couldn't understand what's the big deal so what it's like wow man then shut up if, if it was, it's such if I, it's not a deal to you I, i'm just saying you know I, what i mean it's it, it would be easier for us i get and it. we would take a lot less heat sure if we just jumped on that bandwagon of, of stomping on the palins it's not gonna do it yeah not gonna do it ain't gonna happen it's it not worth it you're barking up the wrong tree over right. here right